10 10 evasion. Whoa, Eddie, why are you like that? What the fuck? Ayo, six are you. Akumu has returned, and today we're going to do hard with Dariari and the crit strat. So this time it's going to be a bit different. And the requirements are decently high because, yeah, back in the days we had that ult gauge none reduced food. So it was much, much easier to do a Kumu. And now let's see how it goes. And hopefully we get some awesome runs. So this is going to be our team. And yeah, it's basically the same team um, as an information. So depending on your ult level of Sariel, it's really hard to tell if you can use Sariel. So I personally think, so before SA5, you had to use a 4, 6 plus Sariel so that Sariel's grace is worth it. And also you have to pay attention. Hey, if your Sariel is not 6, 6, he may not give you enough defense stats so that you can patience together with Elad and stuff. And yeah. So with SA5 though, the requirements have changed. So I personally think, I'm not 100% sure. I personally think a Sariel 3, 6 may be better than a Monspeed Link. But um... Like I said, it's not guaranteed. And also, for your information, like mentioned, the requirements are lower now because with SA5, your Daddy Eddie, and not just your Daddy Eddie, also Elat can get 600 more defense. So it's a bit easier now to patience and stuff. And yeah, now moving to the gear. So the gear you should use is always top pieces, just come in, remove all the weapons because, yeah, as usual, if you have all the weapons on, you deal too much damage, especially on Elad, so you don't really want to kill. Um, Eastern, I actually prefer to keep her weapons because, yeah, her AoE can be sometimes really, really clutch. So that she helps us to actually kill the both hands because, yeah, if we don't kill the both hands in time when um, we have to tank the rupture or when we can't tank the rupture, it's a problem. So we are going to use attack crit damage. I'm not sure if this is going to be the right build. If you have problems, you may have to use um, attack defense. But yeah, so the thing is on Dylan's account, we don't have a middle piece UR, so we will just try and hope for our best. And yeah, a lot of people always want to see the top pieces, so we're going to show this really quick. So this account is not that stacked, but at least it has a 6-6 six, six, um, ELAT, so it's much easier. So I don't really know what the requirement for ELAT is. But I think you probably need a 4-6 Elad might work. So you have to try it out if it doesn't work. Okay. If your Elad is low ult level, you have to remove Eastern and use Valenti. The green Valenti can help you to defense break so that it lowers down the defense related stats. So it can work, but of course you get lower score. First of all, the chance of critting is lower because you don't have a buff and also because you don't have that crit chance buff you may not crit but it is possible and that is the budget version if you use valenti oh so in the first turn what we're going to do is we're going to rank up daddy we are going to move one time with elat we are going to burn this card and we are also going to burn the eastern attack card in turn two no matter what we need to get the ult of elat probably doing it like this is more efficient so let's do it like this and yeah, so the reason why we need the ult is without the Elat ult, we can't survive the over rupture. And depending on how good your account is, you may also have to use a two star daddy buff. That is the reason why I start with that start. And um, I mean, it is in general not that wrong, but we unfortunately have to use that card if we want to start on building ults early on. So we're going to use this ult and we're going to buff here. And we can burn this card and we can also burn this card. So you guys will see our daddy will take a decent amount of damage, which is going to be annoying. But yeah, let's see. Come on, give me some good cards. That's decent for now, for sure. But yeah, as you can see, our... Our daddy almost died, but luckily we have the ult of Elat, so we're good to go for now. But for how long though? But yeah, the good thing is um, we got a lot of Elat cards, so that's awesome. So in turn 6, we have to make sure to get rid of this. So I could be getting her ult by rushing, but probably getting more card draws eventually better. So yeah, 
next round we are getting the ult. And hopefully we are getting a daddy buff soon because we need a daddy buff else I'm not sure if we have enough damage to just kill the left side hand. We should though. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. Perfect. That's awesome. This is pretty decent. Um, The thing is I would actually love to try to kill the left hand without the buff but we also have to kill the right hand so maybe it's not even worth it. So, you always have to pay attention to the Elat ult too, so right now we don't need the Elat ult yet, because we still have it running for two more turns, so that's awesome. We can burn this card, um, we can do this, we... I'm thinking if we should probably keep the attack cards, yeah, I think we should keep the attack cards for next round, so that we can actually make sure to kill the right side hand, because the second time we probably can't tank the um over rupture anymore so yeah let's see how it goes come on give me a rank up and a debuff and oh this looks pretty nice for now this is really awesome for now so we need a rank up now and we also need a elat debuff if possible but yeah so this turn is the turn we need to kill the right hand though so i really hope it goes well <laughs> so okay so we're going to ult, we're going to do this, we're going to do this, and hopefully the right side hand dies. Come on. This may be... Oh no. I thought it would be really really close, but we are good to go. This is awesome. And now if we get a rank up and an Ila debuff, we have a run. Okay. We are close to have a run. <laughs> but yeah. So the good thing is... um. We can still patience because this Elat is 6-6 six, six. and uh, as a reminder, if you don't have a 6-6, six, six, you may have to um, use Valenti Strat, which would make it easier to patience because you reduce the damage. So okay, let's see. We also have 9 stacks, I think, right? Come on, come on, give me a debuff, give me a debuff, give me a debuff. <gasps> no! Okay, it's okay though, it's okay though. It's pretty okay though. The thing is you can also crit without having the debuff. The good thing is um, we have right now, yeah, it's a 10 evasion so far. That's pretty awesome. It's pretty sick. Let me check how many stacks Elat has so far. Elat has 9 stacks. Wow. Awesome. So okay. Um, I think actually if we're going to do this would be fine. But then we are drawing the ult. I don't really like to draw the ult but well it's whatever. We use this card we can actually burn this card too because he's going to heal himself okay guys please if we get the debuff of Elat that would be really really awesome as we have to make it sure to finish in turn um, 10 but yeah so with the debuff it would be definitely a much higher chance to crit without the debuff it's <gasps> We got the debuff. Oh my god. Okay, that's awesome. That's awesome. Okay. Okay, this is good. Can he survive? Yeah, I think he can survive the stri the 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 damage too. So we have a 10-10 evasion. If this crits, it's awesome, guys. So we do this, okay. We do this, okay. We do this. And now we put on the debuff because the debuff stays for two turns. So it is okay to use it. Unless he has the green card, because the green card is cleansing him so if he has the green card don't do it okay i'm low-key afraid of the damage but i don't think he will die he shouldn't he shouldn't die but the thing is if elat crits he will die especially we have that attack buff please don't crit <gasps> okay guys we have a 10 10 evasion we can even just use the Elat ult for fun. So this is basically the perfect outcome you can have. So first of all, you have the debuff. Secondary, um, having all the stacks with evasion. Having the golden buff. And I think using the ult gives more score. And now everyone gotta pray, guys. Turn 10. 10 Elat stacks. 10 evasion. Okay, yeah, we can make a prediction, guys. I think we can. Fire now, hopefully. 
this is going to crit. And if this is going to crit, that would be awesome. So please. 10-10 oh, evasion. Whoa, Eddie, why are you like that? What the fuck? Okay, please. Shoot and... Yes, yes, yes. We actually got a 13 million crypto. 4.2 GG's. Fuck you, none believers. Fuck you. <laughs> That's it, guys. That's it for the video. We got an awesome score of 4.2k. I don't know, but I think this is one of the highest scores you can get. So in general, I think like 4. Um, 5 is the maximum. I'm not 100% sure what the maximum is. But yeah, if we would have finished eventually one turn earlier, that might have given us more score. But yeah, I really don't know. But this score is just fucking awesome. And this is how you can prepare yourself to... Or for the next push week of Okumu Guild Boss. I hope it was helpful. I hope you enjoyed watching this. And yeah, if you did, comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in and peace out for now.